hello guys so in this video we're going to talk about our first topic that is called use query which you can see so we will be starting with this so let me just take you back to my uh, screen so as you can see this is our uh, first i have created my react application here let me just minimize it Oops. okay so as you can see we have created our react application okay now the thing is we want to for to use the use query hook we have to call it from tan stack query react query and we have to call the use query hook so to show like what use query hook accept is so use query hook accepts two important things one is the query key and query function so i will be talking about this in a bit so before that so use query when is used for each api call which you use so think like a single use query is for a single api call okay so whenever so each api call should always have a unique identifier so for that's why we provide something called the query key so let's go deep dive into what this query key is so let's say you have a post right you have you 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 have a post then you fetch a post of a id of two and then let's say you fetch a post of id of one which has something called hero spider-man but now what the time stack suggests is whenever you like all these three which you see right it's is all a query which you are going to fetch okay so let's say you are going to fetch up uh, all the post which is in slash post you pass the post in the array okay but let's say if you pass uh, for like whenever you have a post of id2 you pass the id or the post dot id here and let's say you have some additional parameters which you want to you know make it more extract uh, exact let's say if i make it to two only but i want to you know uh, of this then what i do is i will write it like this to make this one and this one different now the question you might be thinking like why are we even doing it so the reason for this is if you remember in my last video i talked about three main topics one is uh, query then there is something called mutations and then there is something called invalidation queries so each query which you see okay each query which you see let's say you want to invalidate a query like that's how the working is i'm taking you to very fast forward but just to summarize let's say you want to invalidate or slash refetch just remember whenever i say invalidate query it basically means refetching of that api uh, with the new data so whenever we are invalidating query of let's say post of id let's say post to name okay what happens is uh let's uh all, all the array which has post in it will be fetched but this will only happen let's say if you have if you provide the same array to each of the api okay that time let's say you invalid like you assume that okay i want to invalidate of post but this will also invalidate or refetch the api for this to to make to prevent that we always provide unique identifier so let's say for post id2 will be different to slash post slash one because that will anyway become post but it will have an id of two so this two we are sorry one so this two will be anyway different okay so this is how the query key works so now let's talk about the query function so query function is accepts an asynchronous function which is basically nothing but a promise and this should always either it should either uh, resolve the data or it should reject or it should throw the error okay so let's say in our example we have written like this async and await and then we are returning the data from axios okay so now this use query what it does is it provides multiple properties so you know if i do control tab as you can see it provides multiple uh bools so if i talk about his loading is loading and then we have the data itself and let's say the is error is also provided so whenever it's is loading 
so that time it will show like if I show you my screen now very quick so now if I show you if I make the network to you know let's say first 3G let's say okay now if I try to reload it first it will show loading because that time the loading becomes true if you have seen for the millisecond and then it shows the data so what I do is now if I show you uh, the other things so what happens is whenever an API is called the is loading becomes true initially and when the data is processed the is loading becomes false and is error happens whenever you throw an error or the we reject a promise and if I go into the other parameters also is is fetching so is fetching happens so you might be getting confused between is loading and is fetching so if I show you uh, the is loading and is fetching happens the difference is when it is loading uh, I will show you it itself the is fetching is basically like whenever the data is getting background like whenever the data is getting fetched from background you know or well, let's say whenever the cache time is over that time instead of showing is loading this one okay like this hole what it will do is it will really fetch it and make the data consistent on the screen and then only this will fire up so is fetching and is loading mostly many people use it together okay so whenever like whenever something new, new data is coming let's show a new screen or something but yeah so that is the difference between is fetching and data and once we have the data let's process it so now if i show you if i remove the comments okay let me know if you want like if you are able to understand like in this way or i have to write it manually with you and anyway i don't have a problem but just want to make the video short for you so yeah so if i click here if i reload it now okay so as you can see loading please wait then all our superheroes which we have here automatically comes so what you see here is everything comes out of box you don't have to define any logic you have to just check it for that logics and yeah it is there so that's it for today video guys let's see you in the next video with some new content